Hello and thank you for attending our webinar Practical Usability Guidelines for E-commerce Part 1. While most usability principles of regular websites still apply for e-commerce sites as well, the different specific pages such as shopping cart, shipping methods, billing addresses, order review, payment options and others all add another layer of complexity to create usable online shop. It might have happened to everybody, you find it in a search engine a link to the product you need, click it and close the page in a few seconds. Simply because the website design puts you off, or vice versa, you come to the beautifully designed website but understand nothing of how to navigate through it. The first law of e-commerce is that if users cannot find the product, they cannot buy it either. In both cases we have the same outcome, a lost customer. Usability is prerequisite for online shops to achieve its full potential. If users cannot shop or unwilling to go through a seemingly unsecure or long order process, then the website is useless. It doesn't matter how inexpensive the products, if shoppers cannot find them or if they get stuck on the step of the ordering process. Magento offers some great solutions in this aspect. However, it's still up to you to make your website unique and more competitive. Let's see what you should do before designing a new website or already designing an old one. First, define your audience. You cannot create a website that is perfect for everyone. But as a rule, 80% of your target audience think alike. What you should know about your audience? Uh, general information like age, ethnic background, occupation, education, home life, lifestyle, activities. Another thing is website usage, web competency, frustration with the web, what kind of information is hard to find, frequent source of information, how they found the website, why, how barriers, and typical use cases. Second, test the old design to identify the good elements that you should keep and the bad elements that give user troubles. Third, test your competitor's design to get data on a range of alternative interfaces that have similar features to your own. Fourth, inspect the design relative to established usability guidelines, whether from your own earlier studies or published research. Fifth, once you decide on and implement the final design, test it again. Usability problems always creep on during implementation. What you should pay attention to while creating or testing your website? Accessibility. Fast website load time. Statistics show that 10 second delay will often make users leave a website immediately. Even a few seconds delay is enough to create an unpleasant user experience with your web shop. Make sure the load time is fast enough. Ideally, it must be faster than computers. The percentage of online shoppers that did not buy items because the website is too slow is 64. The number is large enough to test your online shop for site load time once again. A website color and texture background contrast is adequate. Do not use dark colors on the dark background or vice versa. Also keep in mind that 8% of men and 1% of women have color vision deficiency to some degree or another. Contrasting colors or colors on the opposite ends of the color spectrum works best for colorblind users, for example white and black. According to scientific researchers, colors has a great influence on online shoppers, but this influence differs from continent to continent, country to country, provoking different feelings, emotions and actions. It is a very useful tool if you know how to use it. For instance, marketing researchers proved that color increased brand recognition by 80%. How different colors attract specific types of shoppers. Sky blue and pink attracts traditional shoppers. Navy blue teal budget shoppers. 
black, orange, royal blue, impulse shoppers. Proper font sign and spacing. Poor readability increases user frustration, and frustration leads to shop abandonment. According to studies, the best font size for web text is 12 and bigger, for users over 65 it's 14. Do not use less than 9 point font size. For headings, use any between 18 and 29, depending on your design. Use a readable font like Arial, Verdana, Helvetica, Lucida Grande, Sans Sharif. They are considered to be most readable for the screen. Do not fix text size so that website visitor can change it in their browser according to their needs. Users with eyesight deficiency will highly appreciate it. Readability is decreased when letter spacing, word spacing and leading is too tight or too loose. Readability is enhanced when there is a generous amount of space between lines of text so the reader can easily distinguish the current line from the preceding one. Do not forget to proofread the text. It may ruin a custom impression about your company. Highlight only most important text. Use underlined text only for hyperlinks. Internet users expect links to be underlined. The numerals 1 to 3 instead of words. It's easier to digest numbers while scanning the page. Optimal number of characters per line from 55 to 75. Flash and add-on are used wisely. Remember the rule. Bad flash elements tend to discourage usability in 99% cases. And good elements add a value in one person cases. Avoid using splash screens, pop-up screens and flash introductions. But if it is necessary, use them sprangly with a clear mark close or skip button. Keep in mind page load time. Nobody will wait for a website to load for 5 minutes. It's a risk to lose a customer. Do not make your photos and graphics look like advertisement. Have you heard of the term banner blindness? Website visitors almost never look at anything that looks like an advertisement. Plus, if your visitors are using Apple product, like smartphones or tablets, they may not see the flash content at all. Images have appropriate quality and alt tags. In essence, people are buying with eyes. For e-commerce website, it is especially vital as you can touch the product online. Product photos should give a high-level view of a product, a close-up detail shot, multiple different angles, to ensure that a user can see as much of it as possible since they cannot physically handle the item. The good size image is 1024 on 768 pixels. Search engine crawlers that cannot interpret the graphic content use image alt tags to identify the image and interpret the image content. It helps to users that disable the images on their browsers as well. Website has custom not found page. 404 errors are for the most part unavoidable. To prevent the potential customer from closing your website and go to your competitor's website, create a custom 404 page. The no found page should include the following. An apology for delivering wrong page. A search box for your website telling the potential customer that they are on the right domain. A navigation option. Identity. Company logo is prominently placed. Logo doesn't have to be huge, but bigger than other elements around. The upper left corner of your web shop is usually the best placement for languages that read from left to right. People expect it to be there. Logo should not conflict with website design. Write an appropriate company's tagline. Reading your tagline, visitors decide whether they want to stay or to leave. 
The tagline should answer the question. What your company does exactly and why users should care? Vague and slangy taglines only confuse users, or worse, make them mistrust your web shop. Home page is digestible in 5 seconds. What does that mean? It means that users need to get basic gist if your home page in just 5 seconds. Your home page cannot be cluttered. A lot of businesses make the mistake of thinking if they put everything on their landing page, then it will be easier for visitors to find what they are looking for. It's not true. Make it simple and clear. People tend to read the website not from top to the bottom, but start reading whatever pops out and them first, and then move to the next thing that captures their interest. Clear path to company information. Include a home page link to an About Us section that gives users an overview about the company profile. E-commerce website need a strong About Us page because users want to know who is behind a web shop, how it's founded, and whether it's credible. It's one of ways to gain trust from your customers. Include the postal address, information on how the shop was found, the philosophy of the company. Ensure that after reading it, the user has clear understanding about the company and that, that this company is real. Provide a corporate video presentation. The video length should be no more than one, one and a half minutes. Ensure that About Us and contact pages are part of your main navigation. Clear path to contact information. Contact information is vital information. People tend to look for a link that says contact us when they want to phone or email the company. Provide your contact phone number and email in the header or photo of the website as a text, not an image. It needs to be accessible via main menu as well. There are two options for contact page. Include contact or contact us in the main navigation or a sub-item for About Us. Hiding the phone number is a mistake, which will cost you a lost customer. Navigation. Navigation usability is a broad topic. Right now we will cover some of the basic points. Main navigation is easily identifiable. Every website has had a main menu since the first browsers came out on the market. Make your main navigation easy to access, read and use. There are many factors involved in creating successful navigation menus like universal navigation, navigation appears on every page, placement consistency, navigation appears in the same location on the page, the importance of text, text for navigation is good, images are bad, feedback on location, breadcrumbs, hyperlink styles, colors. Flash navigation, a sensitive subject, we do not suggest to use it on the web shop. Sitemaps, hierarchical outline of website on the page. The best place for the primary navigation menus is the top or left panel. To minimize navigational confusion, keep your navigation in the same location on every page of your website. Navigation labels are clear and easy to understand. When a user visits a new website, one of their primary points of focus will be the navigation bar. Almost every website has a certain section that are expected by users, such as About Us, Contact Us, Shipping, Return Policy, Terms and Conditions. The best place for them is in the footer area. Do not combine it with a product catalog menu. The best place for catalog menu is the left or top bar. Number of buttons and links is reasonable and they have a proper look. The rule. A button should look like a button. A link like a link. Using a different color that grabs your attention is a good way of increasing the performance of the button. Increasing the size of the more important buttons is also very effective. It is important that design of a button includes a hover and active state, as it can go along convene the appearance of the button. 
a shape around a word without any shading isn't enough to make it clear look buttony. And a simple word on its own definitely doesn't provide enough visual cues. A few simple rules for buttons creation. Do not overload a button with a text. Make the most important button bigger than other buttons around. Label buttons with what they do, for instance, cancel, next, order, close, reset. Put buttons where users can find them. When you style website links, remember that users do not read, they scan the page. There are a few simple rules for hyperlinks to remember. Hyperlinks should indicate where they will take the user. They should stand out not only from the background, but from the surrounding text. Avoid underlying text that isn't linked. Give visited links a darker shade or color so they can stand out but aren't as obvious as unvisited links. Do not underline links in menus. Company logo is linked to home page. The logo image should contain a link to the website home page. Even if the user gets lost on your website, they have still an option to come back to home page and start all over again. Website search is easy to access. On e-commerce sites, up to 30% of visitors will use the webshop search and each of these users is showing a possible intent to purchase by entering product name or code. Effective site search means better usability, thus high number of sales. Navigation, including site search boxes, should be visible across the entire website so that shoppers can move around easily, whichever page they happen to arrive at. The best play for search box is near the top of the page, above the navigation bar. Test different position for search box on your own web shop, find out which one generates the most queries. Do not combine it with other boxes, buttons, links or labels. You can also use the magnifying glass icon as a button for a search box. The size of it depends on what type of products your shop sells. Generally, it should be able to include 2-3 words or 12-18 characters, for example, so that users can see the whole name of the product while they are entering. Usability gurus do not suggest to use an advanced search because it's complicated structure but Magento provide an advanced product filtering system where user can filter items by color, price, type, which is perfect alternative. And finally, content. Headings are descriptive and clear. Most people do not read online, they scan the page. Use headings to set content apart and keep it organized. Headings should be clear and descriptive. All critical content should be above the fold. The fold is an imaginary line where the bottom of your screen cuts off the page. Every screen resolution is 1024768 pixels. According to a Chartbeat analytical provider, 66% of attention of a normal web page is spent above the fold. Other usability researchers say that people used to the scroll bar on 76% of the page, with 22% being scrolled all the way to the bottom regardless on the left of the page. User attention eventually pairs out and the farther down the page users go, the less time they generally spend on each additional information unit. There are psychological consequences to endless scrolling they can hurt the user experience as well. With infinitely long pages, people may feel paralyzed by the sheer volume of content and the number of choices and not click anything. People who need specific types of information expect content to be grouped and layered according to relevance by pages. Web users don't mind clicking links. A link to the next page. 
if each click is meaningful and lead them closer to the desired goal. The ideal scrolling length is two standard desktop screens. Emphasis are used wisely. Highlight the text on the pages proudly, otherwise it's no longer a highlight, but merely a noisy text style, which can be confusing for users. Maximum 10% of your contact should be highlighted. The less you highlight, the more attention your highlight will receive. Banner ads and pop-ups. Why not to use pop-ups? According to Oxford-based test, around 50% of internet users will close a pop-up before it loads. 60% of those tested said that pop-ups even led to mistrust for both the brand being advertised and the host site where the pop-up appears. That means that pop-ups are an absolute do not for e-commerce shop. There is five types of internet ads and bonus graphics to cause particular severe usability and user experience issues. Ads placed above the product list. Ads placed within the product list. Text ads below the product list. Overlay dialog windows light boxes on page load. Ads placed in the prime content location. Generally, ads give your web shot a poor first impression and distract shoppers from achieving the goal on your website, unless it's a new product on your warehouse, discount offer or free shipping for your customers. We do not suggest to place any advertisement. Or else are meaningful and user-friendly. Meaningful keyword-based URLs are good for both visitors and search engines. In order to perform effective URL optimization, you need to approach it as a copywriter. Please do not perform any changes without consulting a specialist in this area. The following rules may apply. Choose a domain name that is easy to remember and easy to spell. Be descriptive as a short as possible without words such as a, for, the. Have important keywords placed at the beginning of URL. Do not contain capital letters. To avoid duplicate pages, use canonical URLs. HTML titles are explanatory. Page titles are widely used by SEO specialists to attract more visitors to the website, but often they forget that page titles are created for users, not only for search engine crawlers, that this is the first thing the website visitors see. If it looks spammy, have grammatical errors, confusing or non-descriptive, even if your website is ranked well in search engine, you lose a big number of potential customers as they skip your website in search results.